Hello and welcome to this Filmic Contrast Pro uh, demo. So this is the new filter, the new version of the Filmic Contrast, which, if you didn't know about it, uh, was a filter, a very simple filter, which would recontrast your image uh, based on a Perlin gain uh, function. So it would give you this kind of really contrastive Filmic uh, look to your image. But in some way that was limited, so we did a new version, uh, the Pro version now, which has a bit more features. And so out of the box, it, it works exactly the same way. You know, you can recontrast with only one slider and have the same look. But now what I can do is, for instance, select a different uh, input channel. So before I, it was using the luminance of your image, now I can say, let's say I want to use the blue channel because I'd like to keep this sky as solid as possible. And so if I look at my blue channel, you can see that the gray is kind of uh, flat and unique. So now if I go back to my RGB and recontrast it, I'll see that the sky is pretty much untouched. Maybe it shifts a little bit in the blue, but uh, you know it doesn't get that much contrast, but all the rest get this kind of uh, filmic contrast look. The other thing I can do is actually apply it only to, let's reset it, to some of the channels. So I can contrast uh, only one channel. Uh, for instance, I'll say, let's contrast the, the red. And you, you know, you, you can get already some kind of color, um, color correction uh, happening in your, in your image. And let's go in negative way and I get this kind of old look, reddish, uh, you know, and, and keeping a contrast in my image as well. And I could do that by using only the blue channel as well, so that the blue is not going to get so much shifting in the a, in a sky. And yeah, having a look like this. So I can do it in different uh, channels, I can do it on the alpha as well, sometimes you, you might want, mostly in CG, you have a soft uh, alpha uh, and you'd like to recontrast it to, to make it, you know, giving some noise and stuff like that, this is a good tool for doing it. And yeah, you have like different modes you can play with. Uh, the other new things in the pro version is that now we have two different algorithms. And the second one is the fast one, the fastest one. It's a bit less precise and might clamp a bit sooner, but it will compute much, much faster. So if you're like not going to an Android like this, but you know, keeping it like around 50, 60, maybe going with the fast uh, algorithm will increase your, your render time, you know, and you can having pretty much the same result. So that's a very good um, new features in the pro version. And you have the boost effect, which will kind of multiply uh, the effects uh, on the same filter. So that's it for the pro version. You have like much more advanced features. It's exactly like the the light version, uh, except now you can control control it per channel, having a faster algorithm, and kind of um, you can multiply uh, the effects and in the intensity of the effects with only one filter applied. That's it. Thanks a lot.